Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Sonny Shield, of course. And oh yes, it's time for another play the objectives video. And this time I solely got uh, attacking gameplay and uh, got some gameplay here on. Oh god, what the hell is it called? Fuck me, Scythe, I always forget names. Firestorm! Uh, we got some on Devon Peak, and we got some at... Uh, oh god damn it, we got some at CN Crossing at the end, I believe. Yes! That's what we, uh, I suck at remembering names. Uh, but s simply, this is like yeah, some, some good little tips on like how you should move and how you should attack the the objectives themselves, so to say. And you might wonder like, oh Anish, how the hell is this gonna help me? You, you just, you magically appeared up there. But this is how you should attack the objectives most of the time. Place yourself a nice little spawning beacon so you and your mates can spawn in. This works excellent on maps like Devon Peak and Fire storm and a few other like Korg Island and stuff like that basically where there's a height ceiling that is pretty high so you're allowed to actually parachute in and do some fucking damage hell yeah baby <laughs> hell yeah and simply what you do is you, you try to get as close as possible to the enemy position or the MCOMs, then place down your your uh, spawning beacon and then just uh, glide nicely towards the enemy of course. Uh, it's it's really not much more than that. It's uh, If you don't really know where to place it, you can always just check out my videos because I, I usually place them in pretty good positions. Uh, but also you can... Uh, you can always uh, just try it out, basically experiment on, on how to do it and stuff like that. And, and right here I die, but trust me, I, it actually blows, I just happen to des delete that part of the footage, so to say, so it kind of sucks. And, and this is kind of a, a, lot, a lot of post-patch stuff, so... Uh, but, it, I mean, now since the parachute works even better, it should be even easier for you guys to do the exact same thing. And this is Devon Peak. I do the same thing as I usually do. I place down a spawning beacon, but I don't kill myself or anything stupid like that. I actually make sure to to go down to watch the, the MCOMs and stuff like that and try to kill as many enemies as I can on the way down. And if I die, then I can take the spawning beacon down and go to town on the enemies then, so to say. But luckily, this is a pretty good them awesome gameplay uh, of me going to town with the uh, uh, AS Valve and this is pre-patched so it only has 21 bullets too so I mean this gun is uh, is pretty goddamn awesome right now I gotta tell you guys because I mean it, they said that they made the recoil a bit worse on it I mean I can't really tell to be honest because I think it still performs really good and with 30 rounds in the magazine it it just performed really, really well, in, in my opinion. It, it's just really, really good. So I armed the first MCOM a while back, uh, and it seems like the enemy... It, I think the enemies are actually... No, it actually blew up. Oh, yes, very nice. No, no, I didn't arm it. Wait, yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my memory sucks, as usual. I wasn't even the one arming it. Uh, God damn And I armed this one, so of course. <laughs> well, luckily, I armed someone, or else I would kind of feel stupid if I <laughs> took, like, gameplay footage that I don't have a clue about. But right here, uh, I'm taking advantage on that I got s uh, suppressed weapons, so I can pretty much fire, and if the enemy hasn't seen me, I can just duck down again and then keep firing again, so to say. And uh, th this is just a great way, and as you can see, I took uh, I took position up here in this barracks right above me, I'm going into them right now, the clip is gonna end, but and basically made sure to kill as many enemies as possible. We got some CN crossing right here, I jumped over to the very, very left of the map when attacking, uh, jumped down into the into the water and swam over. And uh, I'm actually I'm support right here, so I I don't remember what the hell this gun is called, something mirror or some crap like that. I'm using it with a suppressor and a foregrip and a cobra sight. It works pretty goddamn good still. And this is kind of where. Where this just works excellent because the enemy has no clue I'm coming from behind. So this is basically just a turkey shoot for me. It doesn't doesn't require any skills from my part more than the sneakiness, so to say, is to get behind them. And uh, I make sure to make short work out of the guys defending it, taking it easy, taking it careful, placing out some ammo for my friend list. 
I'm now getting support from the tank even, so there's like no chance the enemy is gonna be able to uh, defend this one and defuse it. So I hope this have given you guys a few tips on how to attack when it comes to rush. And as usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.